Hello everyone and welcome to our presentation about Leaderboard. My name is Subi. My name is Jose. I'm Hiram. And I'm Amanda. And let's get talking about Leaderboard. So Leaderboard is a social video game ranking and review website. It focuses more on people rather than big critics. It's intended for any gamer out there, so whether you're just a casual or you've played a ton of games, you have a home on our site. It's also great for connecting with friends, finding new games to play, and cataloging all the games you've played over your life. And additionally, uh, unlike Steam, Leaderboard is a great place for finding all games because there's no such thing as console exclusives on Leaderboard. Everything is there for a review. So why make Leaderboard in the first place? Don't solutions already exist out there? Not particularly. Sites like Letterboxd or MyAnimeList, these are good for reviewing movies and anime respectively. These just don't have games on it. They have nice features that allow you to do things, but you know, of course, there's no games there. Then there's Metacritic, IGN, and Steam. These put a lot of focus onto reviews, but as I mentioned in the previous slide, a lot of them put fi a big focus on what critics think. They don't put a lot of focus on what just the average Joe thinks about games. Leaderboard is a great place for that. Let's talk about some of the core features for Leaderboard. So currently we have reviewing games, so any thoughts you have on a, on a game, you can write it down and other people will be able to see it. You can also search for games, uh, search for users, and search for existing lists. Uh, we also have a backlog, so this serves as a great way for users to catalog games that they might be interested in playing later, and they can organize it in terms of priority of what they want to play next. We also have lists and tier lists, so people can combine or compile lists of games that they think uh, match in certain ways. We also have mobile view supported, so we recognize that if more people are going to be using this site, they're probably going to be using it on their phone, so mobile view is great for that. We also have a recommended page, so this will grab games that we think you will like based on what you've rated highly and we'll recommend them for you. We also have a training page, which this is um, the highest rated games over the past seven days. It's compiled on a list and it'll be a great place for people who are just opening the site up to see what the community is up to. We also have notification support, so anytime somebody you follow writes a comment, likes your list, writes a review, you'll be able to get a notification for that. And I just talked about following users, so yeah, let's get on to the demo. Now let's do a short demo of Leaderboard. Here is the landing page where a user can sign in with their Google account. After doing so for the first time, the user will be directed to the Create User page. Once a user has been on the leaderboard for a bit, this is what their homepage will look like. There is a trending game section, which displays the top three highest rated games over the past seven days. To see the top 10, a user can click the See More button. Below that, we have the Recommended for You section. Leaderboard will recommend games to a user based off how that user has rated other games. Next, we have the Recent Activity from People You Follow section. This will display reviews, lists, and tier lists published by people that a user follows. On Leaderboard, users can search for video games. Here are the results when a user searches for a game. When a user clicks on one of these results, they will be directed to the game page. All information about a game is displayed on this page, including the description, cover art, developer, screenshots of gameplay, and the gaming platforms it is available on. Additionally, users can see reviews written about this game, which can be sorted in various ways, and see ratings from people they follow. From this page, a user can submit a review about this game. After submitting a review, users will see it on their profile. The profile page displays all reviews, tier lists, and lists published by a user. Also visible on the profile page is a user's favorite game, badge status, and backlog. The backlog is where a user can store games that they come across on leaderboard and want to save to play later. A user can see a condensed view of the games they've rated by clicking on the Games Reviewed link.
and view all their lists by clicking on the Lists button. From this Lists page, a user can create a new list or tier list. Here the user can search for games and add them to the bank, and drag them to specific tiers. A user can add new tiers and edit or remove existing ones. Once a user has finished creating their list, they can publish it. Now that we have an idea about what Leaderboard is and does, let's go over how we made it. Here's the architecture diagram for Leaderboard. On the right side, you can see that uh, we use uh, React for the front end. Uh, React is a UI library maintained by Facebook. Uh, provides an easy way to uh, create websites with hooks and components and state. Uh, we also use Material UI, that's the logo on top, and it provides uh, many CSS components that makes it easier to build the front end. Onto the back end, uh, we utilize Firebase, which is a back end as a service, which gave us many back end features. First of all, it gave us uh, Firebase hosting, so the website leaderboardapp.us is hosted. Uh, with Firebase, it's easy to like maintain it and uh, push changes to that. Also, Google Authentication. Uh, it, uh, Firebase provides us with many easy to use uh, functions to log in and log out uh, users with their Google accounts. Also, we use the Firestore database which is a NoSQL database, and basically we just store objects in the database. And also Firebase functions. Basically, these are functions that are run on the cloud. So if they need to do a lot of tasks, and uh, the users don't need to like wait for those functions to happen on our website, they just run on the cloud. And one of those functions is the IGTV API calls. So IGTV is an API maintained by Twitch that provides more, uh, data for more than 100,000 games. And so whenever we pull that information, uh, we just call one of our Firebase functions to retrieve that data. And we also cache that data. And that is our presentation of Leaderboard Finished. We are very proud of what we've accomplished and thank you for listening.